Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at volumes of revolution around the y-axis this time. So just a slightly bit different from exercise 5a. In exercise 5b we're just going to be looking at volumes of revolution around the vertical y-axis. Effectively the diagram will look something like this where we're revolving around the y-axis rather than revolving around the x-axis. We can see that the diagram will effectively look like this here rather than revolving around the x-axis. We Generally with these questions we're all going to be, always going to be doing 360 degrees but if we ever require a rotation of only 180 around the y-axis then we just obviously half our answer. Um, but it's, Questions don't generally involve that. So nothing particularly new here. The formula is going to be pretty similar to what we've seen before. Um, this was the original formula. This is the new formula. Just replace x's with y's and y's with x's. Still integrating between b and a. These now are going to be limits on the y-axis. So this is going to be the y-axis um, intersection or y-axis boundary point. Um, rather than the x-axis boundary point, and you're going to be integrating with respect to y's. So expect lots of y's in your integration, in your um, in your answers. Okay. All right. So it's basically the same form. Just replace x's with y's and y's with x's. Let's have a look at this question here then. So the diagram shows a curve with equation y equals the square root of x minus one. The region R is uh, defined by the boundary between the curve Y, the Y axis and Y equals 1 and 3. The region is rotated 360 degrees around, find the volume of the shape that we need. Alright, so what we need first is to get X squared on its own independently. What we have to start with is the equation y equals the square root of x minus 1. So we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging here. And this is very common in these types of questions because generally the formulas are given in terms of um, x rather than in terms of y. So in this case here, the formula that we need to use or substitute in is x equals y squared plus 1. So substituting that into the formula, it's going to be between 3 and 1, the y-axis boundary values. And remember, we need to square y squared plus 1 as well. So expand those brackets. Do the integration. So it's going to be y to the 5 divided by 5, 2, y to the power of 3 divided by 3, and 1 will integrate to y. Substituting 3 and then take away the subtraction of integrating between 1, and we get a final answer of 1016 pi over 15. Okay, so there we are. That's the final answer on that part then. And so really simple uh, if you're comparing this, this uh, video to exercise 5a. Hopefully you've had lots of practice on exercise 5a. And this is not really too much of an extension from there. Have a go at this question. Pause the video and see how you get on. Alright then, so this question here really is nothing too new um, in comparison to what we faced earlier in this video. Here we have the formula which is integrate between b and a of x squared dy. And even in this question here it's given the formula in terms of x. So all that's left for us to do here is to substitute in the boundaries of 4 and 1. We're now going to square a half y squared plus 1 dy and don't forget to times by the pi out the front. So this is going to equal, now we'll expand the brackets. So half y squared plus 1 times by another half y squared plus 1 um, dy. Let's uh, expand the brackets and see what we get. So we're going to get um, a quarter y to the 4 plus a half y squared and another half y squared, so a total of 1 y squared plus 1 dy. So let's now do the integration part. So we're going to get um, 1 20th y to the 5. Why 1 20th? Well, because the power of 4 would be raised to the power of 5, and then a quarter divided by 5 is 1 20th plus one third y cubed and plus y 
integrating between 4 and 1. Let's continue up here. So now all we need to do is substitute in the boundaries. So it's 1 20th of 4 to the power of 5 plus a third uh, 4 to the power of 3 plus a 4. And then we're going to be subtracting 1 substituted in. So that's going to be 1 20th plus 1 third plus 1. 1 substituting in is quite easy because um, you're just substituting in 1. So all of the powers just simplify to 1. And once we do this, we get an answer of 1503 pi all over... 20. So there we are, and that's the answer to this question here then. Um, have a go at lots of these questions from exercise 5b. Hopefully they're not too much of a stretch from exercise 5a. Uh, question, exercise 5c and d are going to get a little bit more trickier because we're going to have to break up shapes into multiple parts um, and integrate between those. Okay, so make sure you're really confident with these types of problems here before we move on to the next video. Thanks very much for watching.